As the Clone Wars progressed, more and more ground-based legions found themselves pressed into space combat, including the fighting forces of the 501st. For months, every hour of our downtime was spent in the simulator, preparing for the time we would face our enemies from the cockpit of a 170. Finally, the day came to earn our wings. The CIS had staged a daring kidnapping of Chancellor Palpatine and was being escorted from Coruscant by a fleet of Separatist ships. With only a few veteran pilots on planet, many of the 501st were pressed into service to drive off the Seps and buy time for a pair of Jedi Knights to rescue the Chancellor. Attention, Victor Echo 1 2, come in, repeat. Pilots and Marines, get to your ships. The Jedi are depending on you. Incoming fighters, take them out. We've got fighters! Clan ship acting as a frigate for the droids. Destroy it. CIS ships. We need their shields down as quickly as possible. Check out that transport!
communications array. That'll give you an opening. Check out that bomber! Watch your tail! Well done. Now that they're in disarray, fly into their hangar and land. Be careful. Vulture behind you! Don't let them get a lock! All hands to hangar area. Repeat, all hands to hangar area. Use rockets or time bombs to destroy the internal systems. Watch your side! All hands to hangar area. Repeat, all hands to hangar area. Destroy the bridge of the enemy cruiser. Attention all pilots! Attention all pilots! Prepare for assault! With flying like that, the Republic is well on its way to victory. After disabling the final capital ship, General Kenobi and Skywalker took advantage of the opportunity we'd created and rescued the Chancellor. Took all the credit, too. <laughs>